have full control over perspective. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I have a super tasty method for you. Also, join tomorrow my live stream. I will play more with this method and smash that like button to support my channel. So what we are doing here is that we are using 3D image data as a base to define our perspective. Now, you don't have to be a 3D artist. I am neither. Instead, we are going over to Sketchfab or a similar page where you can find these pre-created 3D models. Here, for example, we have an Ellie and you can see I can move around, I can move up and down, I can move into the scene or out of the scene. So there's a lot of possibility here. Now, another thing you can do specifically on Sketchfab is you go down here to the settings, you can switch from orbit to first person. What this allows you is to look around as if you are in a video game and you can use the W, A, S and D key to move into the scene and strafe left and right. So this can be very helpful. And also with your mouse wheel, you can define the speed of walking. So if it's going too fast, set this a little bit lower and then you can basically float around the scene and set this up in any way you want. If you found something you like, take a screenshot, crop it to just that scene and save it as a JPEG. Next, we are going over to Automatic 11.11 and here I would suggest to you to use ControlNet. Now, if you're working with Invoke or any other UI that doesn't have ControlNet, you can also try to do this with image to image render. But of course, with ControlNet, you have more control over the process. Now here I have already loaded an image and I'm using depth map because I want to have the spatial perspective in there, not specifically the architectural details. So I'm setting up as a preprocessor depth and as the model also depth. Now below that you have some pretty important sliders. The first one is weight, then we have guidance start and guidance end. Now here's the thing, weight you probably already understand from the weight we have inside of the prompts. This just means how much importance is given to the control net method. But guidance start and end, this is different. You have here a scale that is going from zero to one. So you can understand this as percentage from 0% to 100%. So of course, 0.5 would be 50%. What this means is when you have your render steps, in this case, we have 20 render steps. This would, for example, take 0.5, so 50%, the first 10 render steps to use this control net map, and then the last 10 render steps without that method. Now, this has the benefit that this will already prepare the noise from which the image is coming for 50% of the rendering with that perspective and then switch over to another perspective later on. So when we have here the guidance start, it would mean that it would not use the control method for the first 50% and then start using it. And the guidance end is defining how long is it going to be used. Test and experiment with this in both directions. Now for an example, let's have the weight at one start zero and one. So this is using control net for the full weight and in the full render time. Now as a result, you can see on the right side that these two boxes here are also over here in the image. Now because we have here a French village, in this case they are not boxes, but the box shape is still there and it is very close to what we have as a starting image for our guidance. Now that can be really good if you want to have that and there is a lot of detail in there that you want to preserve. So I want to show you an example where this would make sense. So here we have an image of a church. This is also based on a 3D model from Sketchfab. Now here when I generate again, it is taking a lot of the detail into our image. So we have all these rows and a lot of the original architecture of this church inside. Now the downside of this is that I often found that the output of the render image is not as good if you give ControlNet that much power over the image. Now let's go back to our French village example. Here again, I loaded a scene, a perspective. I've set the weight to one. 
guidance zero to one so all the way and when we compare the images you can see that they are very similar from the details but I don't think they look as good. It feels a little bit too blocky, a little bit too stiff, and the details in there don't feel like a French village. So let me reduce this and set the weight to 0 0.8 and then set the guidance scale over here rather short to only 0 0.4. And you can see in my recording that at the start of the rendering, this is sticking to our control net and then at the end, it is changing it into something else. Now this has the same perspective, but I think we can all agree that now this looks a lot more like an actual French village. We have a wounded road here. The details make a lot more sense. It's more playful and beautiful. When we click on generate again, you can see that this created the different alley but still everything feels rather natural. Now let's load a perspective that's lower to the ground and set this to 0 0.6 instead as the end point. I will click on generate again. This is taking the control net longer into consideration and then adding its own details at the end. But what you can also see here is we have the perspective from our original image. Now it looks like a French village and we have the mountains in the background with the clouds. All is really beautiful. Now let's go here and set the guidance end to 0.3. You can see that this introduces more difference to that. At the same time, we have more liberty, but we still have this perspective where the camera is closer to the ground. So this means you can create a lot of beautiful images with full control over the perspective. Now a downside of this method is this will not allow you to create different perspectives of the exact same alley, but it will allow you to create images in the same style of a similar looking village with control over the perspective. Put more details into the prompt to decide over the color of the houses, the style of the houses, so you define more of what is happening in the image. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.